a devastating earthquake hit Nepal on Saturday, killing more than 1,900 people in Kathmandu. The 7.8 quake set off avalanches around Mount Everest where, the New York Times reports, at least 17 climbers died, including Google executive Dan Friedenberg, who dated actress Sophia Bush in 2013 and 2014. Dan had even survived an Everest avalanche last year, and Sophia tweeted at the time, for all concerned, at Dan Friedenberg and team are safe at Camp 1 on Hash Everest after the avalanche. Please keep the Sherpas in your prayers. Unfortunately, that was not the case this time. Dan's death was announced by his expedition team, Jagged Edge, it is with the greatest sorrow that we report the death of one of our Everest team members, Daniel Friedenberg. Two other team members have non-life-threatening injuries, as a result of the avalanche that struck base camp during the earthquake and its aftershocks. Dan's sister Megan posted the photo shown on Instagram, writing, This is Dan's little sister Megan. I regret to inform all who loved him that during the avalanche on Everest early this morning our Dan suffered from a major head injury and didn't make it. We appreciate all the love that has been sent our way thus far and know his soul and his spirit will live on in so many of us. All our love and thanks to those who shared this life with our favorite hilarious strong-willed man. He was and is everything to us. Thank you. Sophia was also heartbroken by Dan's death since they remained close friends after breaking up in February 2014. The One Tree Hill alum posted a striking photo of Dan's silhouette on Instagram, with this note, there are no adequate words. Today I find myself attempting to pick up the pieces of my heart that have broken into such tiny shards, I'll likely never find them all. Today I, and so many of my loved ones, lost an incredible friend. Dan Friedenberg was one of a kind. Fearless. Funny. A dancing robot who liked to ride dinosaurs and chase the sun and envision a better future for the world. His brain knew how to build it. His heart was constantly evolving to push himself to make it so. He was one of my favorite human beings on earth. He was one of the great loves of my life. He was one of my truest friends. He was an incredible brother, a brilliant engineer, and a damn good man. I'm devastated and simultaneously so deeply grateful to have known and loved him, and to have counted him as one of my tribe. I was so looking forward to our planned download of all the things when he got home. I am crushed that I will never hear that story. I am crushed knowing that there are over 1000 people in Nepal suffering this exact feeling, knowing that they too will never hear another tale about an adventure lived from someone that they love. Disasters like this are often unquantifiable. The enormity is too much to understand. Please remember that each person who is now gone was someone's Dan. Please remember that our time on this earth is not guaranteed. Please tell those you love that you do. Right now. This very minute. And please send a kiss to the sky for my friend Dan. His energy is so big and so bright, and it's all around us, so put some love toward him today. And then hug your loved ones again. Hash goodbye sweet friend hash safe thighs hash Nepal, beautifully put. Our hearts go out to the families of all the victims. R.I.P. Sir.